Yeah, something that I was not expecting is tea makes you real thick. Oh, hey, what's up? I hope that you're having a good day and welcome back, of course. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing below if you want to find out new ways to kick your dysphoria to the curb and feel more confident in your mind and body. Today, I want to share with you how I gained over 40 pounds after starting testosterone. So I started testosterone a few months after I graduated high school. And around that time, I was about 130. And like I said before, my highest weight has been 172. Going back a little bit, when I first started testosterone and within those first six months, a big part of it, I feel like why I put on so much weight so fast is because a huge side effect that a lot of people know about is when you start testosterone, your hunger levels change. And that's really just any type of hormone change that usually goes on and that can happen with anyone. Um, if they're taking different hormones or if there's just really an imbalance in general, it's gonna affect your like overall well-being. Coming back to what I said before, you are going to get a lot more hungry once you start tea, if you are going to. But for me, I got a fuck ton more hungry. I was so, I was so hungry all the time. I, and at that time I was in a relationship and I was like super comfortable. It was just like, like, I don't care. Like, I'm just going to eat this. It sounds good. I, it, I don't care. Also, another part of that is I was so dysphoric with my chest. And like, because I had a pretty large chest before I had top surgery and I would constantly wear like baggy hoodies and so many button ups, like so many button ups. It's, but isn't that like just a big transmasculine mood though? Like button ups and hoodies just covering up our bodies. Uh. <laughs> But after top surgery, I noticed like I got a lot more focused on my hip fat and my stomach fat. And I also got out of that relationship because it was a really unhealthy relationship. I am glad I got out of it, but that's for another time. So after I got out of that relationship, which was really good, I wanted to look hot. Like I was kind of wanting to just get out there and feel like a sexy beast. And for some reason to me at that time, it felt like the only way I could feel sexy is lose weight. But I learned with time and nutrition, like I really just want to get stronger. But at that moment, I was just like, I just want to look hot, please. <laughs> so that was like where my focus started to go and I got more educated on macros and that type of thing. I started to hyper-focus on my weight and it was just like all I could think about, well, my weight and food. It just like all I could think about. So it was just not good at all. And I like, it consumed my life for at least five months it goes up and down and like it can be a day-to-day -day thing but it's like a lot better now at that time the worst like disordered eating that I had with like binge eating it was around let's say so a few weeks before Thanksgiving um, like last Thanksgiving until like the beginning of oh I think like February yeah I, I was really starting to try and focus on getting better at the first of like January because it's like oh New Year's resolution I just want to you know do all those things that I've been putting off especially after like checking in at like 172 I was just like Ugh, I can't I, I can't I just I feel like all the hip fat and like uh, just no thank you. You know, it is still like a lot easier today. Like I was saying before, I've done a few different things that have helped me a lot more. For some people, I know how helpful my fitness pal was and is, but for me, it, I cannot do it. It's so overwhelming. Unless if I'm going to track a recipe for like you guys, I usually post those on my Instagram. I 
if feel free to check that out below I'll like put all the stuff my social stuff below but with the day-to-day -day, like tracking of the food it is too overwhelming and it starts to make me feel like I'm going back into that cycle of how I was like last November and December and it was just very unhealthy and I it, it was just I, I felt overwhelming guilt all the time if I went over my calories at all so I, I just needed to stop and another thing too is just focusing on being more present in my body and like when I'm eating in general and like even focusing on like the taste the texture and really just being more tuned into it instead of just like food <laughs> like because I, I still do that but when I do feel more focused into my body it, it's just been a lot more helpful if you liked today's video, please give it a big old thumbs up. And if you want to see more content around how to feel more confident in your mind and body and body image and body positivity, especially related around the trans masculine experience, you're going to want to subscribe below. So I hope that you have a great day. And as always, you are beautiful. <laughs> Have a great day. Peace. Okay, do you guys like me standing up or sitting down? Because in this video, I'm like sitting down and like chilling a lot more. You can actually see my face easier because I don't got the best equipment right now. But as soon as I am able to work more towards this channel and of course monetize, all of that will be going towards funds, towards getting better equipment. So don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you prefer me to stand up or sit down in my videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.